G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play 11 Minutes by Youngblood, Halsey and Travis Barker. Now when I heard this song, I was really impressed. It had a really cool guitar riff and Travis Barker's drumming is just amazing. It really brings the song to life. Now in this video, I'll teach you how to play the main guitar riff, but I'll also teach you the easy chords if you just want to strum and sing along. Now, I'll teach you how to play those chords without a capo, but there's a lot of bar chords there. So I'll also teach another version with the capo that has some easier chord shapes for the beginners out there. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Now, the guitar I'm playing here today is a Cole Clark Fat Lady 2 with Elixir Strings. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. So let's start with the intro riff. Now I'm going to start by teaching you the picking pattern that's used for each of the chord shapes. And once we've learnt the basic pattern, I'll teach you some of the extra notes that are played in the riff. Alright, so for our first position, we're going to play a G sharp bar chord. So, so your pinky finger will go on the 6th fret of the 5th string and your index finger will go on the 4th fret of the 6th string. Now for this riff, any time we pluck the 6th string, we're going to be hitting a down pluck. Anytime we hit the fifth string, we're going to be hitting an up pluck. So with this first shape, our picking pattern goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And together with the chord. Down, up, down, up. And that is the typical picking pattern that we're going to use throughout this whole riff. Now for the second bar, we're going to need to stretch our index finger all the way down to the second fret. You're going to keep your pinky finger where it is on the sixth fret of the fifth string. So this is a bit of a stretch. So some of the beginners might struggle with this. I'll teach you a variation of this in a sec, but with the picking pattern, it'll go down. For the third bar, we're going to lift out your next finger and just keep our pinky finger where it is on the sixth fret of the fifth string. And our sixth string note is just the open sixth string. We're going to play that picking pattern again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then for our fourth and final bar, we're going to start with the same shape. So the open sixth string. Down, down, up, up. But then on this next down, pluck, we're going to go to uh, F sharp bar chord. So it's the same shape as the first chord we had in this riff, just two frets down. And we're going to finish off the picking pattern in this position. So down, up, up, down, up. So notice how the picking pattern remains exactly the same, just our shape changes within it. Down, down, up, up, down. And that's it for the riff. So all together with the basic picking pattern, this is what it'll sound like. And a bit faster. Now, if this stretch chord shape is too hard for you to play, what we can do instead is hit the second fret of the sixth string with our middle finger, and your index finger will go into the first fret of the fourth string. And you just alternate your down picks on the sixth string and up picks on the fourth string. So it'll sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. But I prefer to just play this stretch method because it's just more consistent with the picking pattern. You don't have to skip strings. That's it for the basic picking pattern. Now there's a couple of notes that we can add to this basic picking pattern to make it sound more like the original. Now these extra notes just occur on the end of the first and the third bars. So it's an extra up pick on the fifth string. And again, that just occurs in the first and third bars. So it will sound like this. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, 
So that's it for the riff and it's basically played throughout the whole entire song, which is really nice and easy. So now let's move on to the chord progression that gets played basically throughout the whole song and can just be repeated again and again. So we just have five chords here for the no capo version. So it's the same as an F bar chord, just up at the fourth and sixth frets, and then you lift your middle finger. And then we have a B bar chord, so it's the same as an F chord shape, just up at the seventh and ninth frets. Then we have an E major chord. Now what you should do is just keep your ring, pinky and middle finger on the same strings and slide them up and down. There's no need to lift your fingers and get into another position, just keep these fingers where they are on the same strings and slide them down to the E. And then we have another E and then we end with an F sharp bar chord. Now a strumming pattern we can use throughout the whole song is something like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Now the first three chords are played for one full strumming pattern, but the fourth and fifth chord are within the one strumming pattern. And the point at which you're going to change is on that third down strum. So it'll sound like this, from the E to the F sharp. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And in total, the chord progression will sound like this without a capo. Now if you want to strum and sing along but you want to avoid bar chords then just take a capo and put it on the 4th fret of your guitar. Now our chord shapes will be E minor, G, C, C again and then D. We're going to use the same strumming pattern as well so down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And we're going to apply that to the chords so it will sound like this. And that's it for the easy strummed chords and you can basically just play them throughout the whole song. So now I'll be playing through the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. So be sure to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go. I'm
Thanks for watching guys, be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium which is my complete step by step guitar course. If you've enjoyed this it would mean so much if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions and requests down below and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.